Hi there guys, welcome to the Dana Life as a Cardiff University student vlog. This is really just an average day of making the most of study resources online and going to some really great study locations on campus. This is great for days where you can't attend face-to-face -face lectures, um, for example during strikes or with lecturers being ill or away. Starting off the day with Butte Library, which is probably one of my favourite libraries. It's very relaxing, it's usually very quiet and it's a great place to just sit down and get some work done. When I was here I just made sure I was up to date with readings and started working towards an essay that I have due in a couple of weeks. During times when we can't attend face-to-face -face learning, it's still really important to keep up to date with what's going on in our course and try to stay connected to it in some way. So some of the best ways to do this would be making most of readings. So if you're like me, doing a course that's based on a lot of readings, it's really important to make the most of the reading list. So if you can't attend face-to-face -face learning, it's a great opportunity to make the time to read and make notes on what you've been given. This would also be a great time to catch up on any past lectures or any other lectures that have been recommended to you um, or that you know are relevant to your topic. Once you're caught up on lectures and reading, this is a really great time to just prepare some questions to ask your lecturers when you're next in contact with them. This just makes it easier to make the most of your time with them because you know what you need to learn and making sure that you're clear on anything that you weren't clear of before. Finally, this is a great opportunity to make sure that you're on top of everything. You can do this by working on assignments or preparing for future seminars. Moving on, we have the Centre for Student Life. This is a great place to go and get some work done in a little bit more of a relaxed setting. As it's more sociable than some of the quiet working libraries, it's a great place to just get a coffee and maybe work with friends or if you're working on a collaborative project, this is a great place to go. Next up is the Arts and Social Sciences Library. A hot tip is the coffee machine downstairs where you can get a very basic but does the job latte for two pounds. As the library is open 24-7, sometimes it's just nice to turn up in the evening, get your latte and go upstairs and do some work. Finally, we have the Sciences Library, which is definitely the most aesthetic. It's usually very quiet in here, so it's a great place to just sit down, get your head down and get some work done. At the end of the day, once I've done everything that I need to do on my to-do list, it's great to just go home, have a cup of tea and relax for the evening. 